Hey everyone. Now, you probably know from watching my videos that I had a problem with snails and slugs. Now, I seem to have controlled that by coming out every night. I'm pretty relentless, like a Jedi. Coming out all the time, picking them off, and all that kind of stuff. And the numbers have reduced like tenfold, hardly any anymore, So, which is fantastic. But I came out this morning, I'll show you what I found, but there seems to be a new adversary in the garden. Okay, now these are zucchinis I just put in. All right, now here's one. Nice, fresh, vibrant, full of joy. And then there's this one. Look at this. Now, if you get damaged like this, kind of like chew, like bite chews out of it, that, that this leaf is a good example. This is one of the original leaves. See how it's kind of left a little bit of membrane there and things like that see that damage there that is perfect examples of earwigs so I've got earwigs awesome I'm gonna have to address that I'll come out tonight and have a squeeze so I can hopefully show you the earwigs hopefully the dogs will stop barking and I'll set some earwig traps I might actually set an earwig trap today I'll, um, actually, we'll do an earwig trap today and I'll show you what I use for them. Hopefully we catch some. Like, I just got rid of the snails and the slugs, you know what I mean? And it was like, alright, sweet. Now I've got bloody earwigs. Alright. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I love it on uh, TV shows when they do that, like, what, you didn't notice the cameraman in the corner? It's hilarious. Um, alright. Let's get serious. <laughs> now, um, this is the first trap I'm going to make. Now, what you'll need... Now, firstly, I should say, I always recommend people have a little pruning knife. Like that. Like a good, heavy, you know, one that's got... When you open it, it's like a fixed blade. You'll use it heaps, and it's worth the investment. They're not that expensive. You can get it at most nurseries and garden centers and things like that. Nice and sharp, keep it sharp. Great for little things. Once you've got one, you'll be like, oh my God, I use this all the time. All right. Now I'm using an old mango fruit yogurt container. Now this is gonna serve as a trap. There's gonna be, you know, a liquid down the bottom here, which is gonna consist of oil and cat food. Now if you don't have cats or cat food, you can buy a little tent of cheap cat food if you want or anything real strong and smelling the oil is just kind of like the trap they get caught in the oil and it's like ah, and then they're gone but you need something to attract them in there they like strong smelling things things like um, cat food uh, fish tuna oil things like that like you know if you're eating tuna save some of the juice pour it in it'll that'll work just as well I like to keep have one with these kinds of traps that has a lid so you can put it out in the weather and it's generally going to be okay all right but if it's open like it's raining now so if it's open this is just going to get water in it defeat the whole purpose all right now what i need to do this is going to be buried up to about there all right because i don't want to have to bury the whole thing in the ground and the point with having the lid on is i'm going to have little entry points on each side so they can go in and go oh what's that smell oh it smells good oh let's have a look in here ah and then it's all over so we're not going to bury the whole thing in the ground so we only need to go up about yay far all right now i need to cut it might be better if i put the thing on now i need to cut little i'll show you obviously be careful when you're doing this because i am a klutz all right, then we're gonna cut out little rectangles pretty much as entry points for these eventually. All right. There we go. One, now I'll just do the one. I'll do one on the other side, but I'll just show you this one. All right, so that's what I want, all right? For comparison, there was the piece that came out. So that's just gonna be ground level, like here, and it's just gonna be like their little window, literally their window in. So they're gonna be like, oh, what's that smell? 
go in, ah, it's all gone, all um, over. All right, now I'll just cut the other side out. Let me pause this. All right, and now that's the other side. You can see through there. Window to your soul. All right, so that's effectively the trap. Now it's raining a bit harder now, so you might not be able to hear me what I'm saying. So I will come back later and we'll put the uh, bait in there and then I'll come back tonight. No, I won't come back tonight. We'll put it in this afternoon so it's ready to go and then we'll come out tonight and we'll have a squiz and see what's happening. All right, but that's it so far. So we've got our container, we've got the vegetable oil. I'm just using just cheap vegetable oil. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. Don't use your cold press extra virgin olive oil because it's not necessary and just some cat food mmm kangaroo and chicken with carrots now normally I was well not normally I was going to just mix it all up but I think it's going to be advantageous to actually put this in the soil first and then put the contents in it otherwise it'll be all you know what I'm saying so this is where that's the one that got damaged. This is where it's been happening. There's a, I've noticed a few onions that have um, got chew marks on them too. So I'm gonna put it right there. Now, I've just buried that. You can see pretty much to ground level. And I'll show you the other side. All right. So I don't want them to have to try and climb anything. I just want it to be nice and more well, easy to get into. All right, now we'll put in some oil. Okay. So the oil's in. Now for the cat food. Mmm, chicken. All right, now the cat food's in there. And I just kind of, because that was on my fingers, because I just wanted to mix around, I just flicked a little bit around just to try and get a bit of smell. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but we'll see. All right, now we'll just put the lid on. And um, we'll see how we go. We'll come back out tonight and see what's happening. Uh, if you like the video today, please subscribe and share it and do all that lovely stuff. And I'm also on Patreon now. Someone asked me to go on Patreon, or said I should, years ago. And I was like, nah. And then, I don't know, I just had a, well, I didn't do any videos for a few years. Had a hiatus as such. And I just thought, well, why not? So if you want any extra stuff on, there's going to be extra stuff and extra you know, behind the scenes type stuff, videos and um, pictures that I'm not posting online or not on social media. So the link is in the little banner on my channel. If you go up on my YouTube channel and there's the banner art and in the corner, there's a little icon for Patreon and Instagram. Have a squeeze. Now I was coming out to have a look. I did put that top over it, that little pot just to um, save it from the rain because it is it's just pouring um, I don't know can't really see much at the moment we'll have a look in the morning it's just raining so bad I, there's not much I can do well I got rid of a lot of the slugs there's a lot of slugs and a couple of snails but um the earwig traps gonna have to wait until the morning it's just pissing down <laughs> so I don't, I'm just already soaked I'm gonna go in change with t-shirt be back in the morning well it pretty much rained all night and was raining this morning so it wasn't I didn't even see I think I came out here about three or four times I didn't see any earwigs at all um, snails and slugs which I got rid of which was expected for that kind of weather but no earwigs another thing you can do not so much when it's raining too if you want to get rid of earwigs in your garden is roll up um, bits of newspaper into like rolls or use bits of cardboard that have those little gaps through them and roll them up and leave them around too and because the earwigs are nocturnal they'll generally hide in those um during the day and you can just pick them up and throw them in the bin or get rid of them however you want to get rid of them give them to your chooks or something like that so that's another way but nothing in there this morning like i said it just rained all night i didn't see anything all right but that's it thanks for watching i'll see you soon